Oh, hey. <laughs> this is my morning voice. I haven't spoken at all yet this morning, and it sounds... Hello, I'm Christian. It sounds a lot deeper and less whiny than what it normally is. I've always wanted to do voiceovers. Tell us, Christian, what prizes have we got to give away today? Thanks for asking, Christian. Today we have a brand new car. See, that'd be really good. The 1994 Holton Commodore has been used by two people and has done a total of 220,000 kilometers, but it can be yours if the price is right. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, my name's Christian Hull. I have a podcast. It's called Complete Drivel. It's a lot of shit, okay? It's real bad. It's so shit. But you should go and listen. I've put the links in the comments below. I tell a lot of stories like the one I'm about to share with you now, which involves my bowels and my anal. So when I worked in Adelaide, I went through like a real health phase where I was going to the gym, I was eating healthy, and I stumbled across this tea that was in this sort of Asian grocery. The Asians are known for their herbalness and their remedies and their organic sort of cures for things. And this tea was called Slimming Tea. And I went, I'm going to buy me some of that because it says Slimming Tea on it. And I thought, well, I'll just have some of this tea and I will be slim because it's called slimming tea. It was like $12 for 50 little tea bags. And I started to use it. So I started to have breakfast and I'd have my slimming tea with my breakfast. Now the tea didn't taste fantastic. I want to say the first 24 hours was fine. Everything was fine. And um, I just thought life was great. And then um, the next day I thought I had food poisoning um, because <laughs> I, um, I just got a lot of stomach pains and I'd come into work and I was like oh Lauren oh my stomach hurts and my stomach like th these were serious cramps like these were just sudden serious cramps in my sort of intestinal canal and so I would be working I worked on a breakfast show so I was producing and then I would just bolt to the bathroom and we're talking you know when the SpaceX program gets launched up like they launch a rocket that's what it's like when I was sitting on the toilet I was like a rocket and the jet fuel was coming out of me as severely as you've seen in those NASA launches. Um, and I was like, as soon as that happened, it's like instant relief. You're like, oh my God, the food poisoning has gone. And then I went back to work, like nothing had happened. Dr drinking my tea, eating my carrot sticks and hummus. The next day, same thing happened. It just felt a little bit more severe. So I was like, well, what the f is going on? I'm drinking my tea, I'm shitting like a tornado. And this goes on for maybe four or five days before I actually say to um, Lauren, who was my EP at the time, um, I was like, Loz, oh my God, I don't, I don't think I'm feeling well. I think I'm going to have to take some time off. I need to get some scans done. My like intestines are just like, I eat some food and it literally just falls straight through me and then gets exploded out of me. And it's really painful. And Lauren's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And she's like, but you're drinking the slimming tea. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's working though. Like, look, I've lost five kilos. And she's like, yeah, yeah, but the slimming tea is why you have the most explosive poos of your life. And I was like, what? What do you, what do you mean? And she said to me, Christian, have you read the ingredients of the tea? And I was like, <coughs> no, Lauren, it says slimming tea. I trust that enough to take the tea without having to look at the ingredients. She goes, oh, just, just have a look. And then I see the warning labels. Uh, do not use if you're pregnant. I reckon if you were pregnant and you had this slimming tea, it would induce birth. It just wants to expel everything from your body. It had a warning. And one thing I noticed was um, it wasn't so much a tea as it was just a horrifically powerful laxative. And what you were doing was eating food, drinking the tea, and the tea would tell your body, oh, don't absorb any of the nutrients. And it would just... <laughs> all of the food you'd eaten like it was just this explosion of excrement and um i quickly realized that it wasn't actually me being sick it was the fact that i was drinking one of the world's most powerful laxatives podcast link is somewhere here in this vicinity click it listen to it it's just a lot of shit there's a lot more dick chat in it too so maybe don't listen with them um, 
your kids in earshot of a morning and then literally 20 minutes later running to the bathroom and sitting on there and it feels like you're in t it feels like you're gonna shit your intestines out like I, I was worried I'd have like a prolapsed ass or something like I'd be like Lauren you need to push it all back in oh god laws um, thankfully that didn't happen and uh, I did slow down on the slimming teeth look it did slim me down it did what it said it just did it in a really horrifically painful way. You'd think though that I would have stopped with like the gimmicky slim fast esque stuff but no 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 no. I was in a chemist and I saw exactly that slim fast and I was like I want to slim fast and there were these little pills and they're like fat blaster pills so I took them and um, I was taking them for a couple of days and again intestinal pains and it felt like my appendix was gonna burst. That's the pain that I felt. So I took myself off to the doctor and I was like, I've got this really sharp pain here. And he's like, oh yeah, that, that does sound like your appendix. Um, let's go for an ultrasound. So I went in and I had this ultrasound. They couldn't find anything, right? There was nothing. There was these sharp pains and we couldn't work out what it was. And then he went through my diet and I said, oh, you know, I've been eating pretty healthy. I've been doing this, doing this. I'm taking these sort of um, pills to help me lose weight. And the doctor's face just went from like, we need to find a solution to, you're a fucking moron. And he said, you're taking diet pills? I was like, yeah, the fat blaster. And he goes, stop taking the diet pills and the pain will go away. He had this look like, you've just wasted a lot of my time. Get off the diet pills and eat properly and go to the gym. Okay. And then I left and I stopped taking the diet pills and I was fine. The moral of the story is, just eat healthy and exercise, which is so annoying. Who wants to fucking eat healthy and exercise? They are the two things at the bottom of my list. I like to eat unhealthily and I like to be sedentary. 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 The word where you don't move, that's me. So this the couch over here. Like, look at this couch. You can see the indentation of my body because I sit there and I watch TV all the time whilst eating unhealthy foods.